Hello my dear students, this is Shilpi Saksana. Welcome to my channel Learning Hub. So today we are going to start with the second part of AI project cycle that is SDGs Sustainable Development Goals. So in this video I will be explaining briefly all the 17 goals and how AI is incorporated with these goals or how AI will, will achieve those goals. So first of all what is sustainable development? You all must have read about it in EVS, your SS. So we will study this in AI. I will tell you why we are studying this in AI. So first of all, what is sustainable development? It's a development that meets the need of present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet, may, meet their own needs. So children, we have resources in the environment. We have to use those resources in such a way so that it can be preserved for our future generation. So what is whatever the next generation is coming, they should they can or they should also use those resources. So if we will waste the resources, it will not be preserved for our future generation. So we have to use all the resources wise, wisely. So for that, we there are 17 goals which are which are there and we have to achieve those goals. So you must be wondering why we are studying sustainable development or SDG in uh, in AI. So children, why we are studying? Because we can use AI to achieve those goals. Those 17 goals can be achieved by using AI. So AI is an ally that sustainable development needs to design, execute, advise and to plan the future of our planet and sustainability more effectively. Don't get confused. We are studying these goals so that we can use AI to achieve those goals. That's it. So uh, you have to see in this video, I'll explain how AI is how AI is achieving those 17 goals. So we will start with the first goal. So no poverty is the first goal in which AI. Uh, now there are two methods by which we can track poverty. First of all, the, the direct interaction that is survey, doing survey, manual survey. If we will do manual survey, then we can keep the track of the areas where poverty exists and we can provide them resources. But now if we will use AI, so by the satellite images, when we will click photographs through satellite, we can identify the areas where poverty still exists. Like we can identify slums, we can identify wherever the, by looking at the image only, we can see, okay, at this area, the poverty exists. So we can prioritize the, uh, we can prioritize resources in that particular area. So if we will uh, provide resources in that particular area, obviously we are trying to reduce the poverty in that particular area. So in this way, AI can be used to reduce poverty or then we, we can achieve the goal of no power. The next goal is zero hunger. So when we are able to identify the areas where poverty exists, we can provide them resources wherever they don't have food. We can provide them resources through which they can get the food. And most most important, so we can identify the areas which which have the risk of food shortage due to lack of water, due to lack of uh, rising prices, crop failure, etc. So. Uh, basically it ai can be used to warn the far farmers where when suppose uh, ai can be used to predict the climate change they can use to predict the drought if they suppose weather forecast you must have seen so according to weather forecast ai can predict that these area can have drought so they can warn the farm farmer to uh, that this area will face drought so they can be provided with the water supply or they can be warned to not uh, warn not to do plantation at that in that particular area at least so that they can be they can cope up with the uh, uh, with the failure which may occur if they are not warned the next goal is good health and well-being so you have seen so many ai application you must have seen uh, da Vinci's uh, surgical machine which can be used 
to uh, perform operations which uh, which actually the common human being or common doctor cannot perform the operations such operations can be done through ai enabled machines the ai can also predict the uh, it can also predict the uh, the outcome of the hospital visit so suppose a patient is going to the hospital so it can predict whether Uh, the, that particular hospital will be kept, uh, will be able to cure that patient or not so all these things can combine together to achieve the goal of good health and well being next one is quality education virtual classes virtual teacher so many things are there so many interactive uh, softwares are there which can improve the education and at all the ages so ai can be used to achieve that goal of quality education so the next goal is gender equality so uh, you must have heard that women there is a difference between there is a lot of gap between the payment of women and men so the to, to bridge the gap between the, the man and woman ai is there to bridge the gap now ai what it can do it can analyze the data collected so you know very well that ai works on data it can collect the data from the environment and analyze that data so it basically what ai can do it will uh, collect the data it will merge the data and analyze it and it can identify the areas where there is inequality between man and woman okay then what else it can do it can uh, develop the Uh, techniques through which that gap can be reduced moreover it can also identify the reason behind this gap so ai can reduce the gender inequality so that both the genders or maybe uh, men or women there should not be any bias for a men or bias for a woman the next gap the next uh, goal is clean water and sanitation clean water is the most important goal so ai can maintain the clean water by identifying the contamination present in the water or what kind of contamination is there and then um, based on the contamination in the water it can provide the sanitation the treatment that is required to reduce or to remove that contamination the next goal is affordable and clean energy children you must have learned about uh, the uh, smart cities or a smart uh, home in class 9th also so basically you if you know about iot that is internet of things so iot devices are those devices which can be controlled through mobile also so there are many apps which can control your washing machine your fridge your uh, ac your electricity so if by chance i forget to turn off my uh, electricity or turn off my ac if i want to control my electricity or if i want to control my ac wherever i am i can switch off my electricity directly from my mobile app also so basically what we are doing we are saving the energy moreover there are so so many sensors uh, it is integrated with lot of sensors to which can make with uh, which can make predictions which can different uh, which can make predictions and uh, it can efficiently improve the overall integration so based on the data it is collecting so iot is also a smart device which is collecting lot of data so what ai can do it can interpret that data so if there is suppose any energy leakage or any uh, problem is there in the device which may result in the wastage of energy that that can be identifying by identified by using that data so that we can get affordable and clean energy the next goal the next goal is decent work and economic growth so ai is a boon to the society now you can get the job which does not exist in present scenario so those job also you can get in future so ai is is uh, developing such areas where there can be so many possibilities of employment uh, you can get so many jobs in your future so this can uh, increase the economic growth and you can get the work which is decent next one is 
industry innovation and infrastructure you know very well that uh, nowadays uh, manual work is replaced by the robots there are there suppose for example we can say the bottling system or we can say the, you must have seen the car assembling so if you have visited any of the uh, car company like ford or honda so you can see so many robots are there which assembles the car and it um, where the manual work is difficult so all the think uh, all the manufacturing all the uh, assembling is done through robot moreover suppose there is a problem in the industry so ai can identify the areas where there is a problem and wherever we can implement the ai to remove the manual work and the reduce the problem so we uh, by using ai industry can be innovated and the infrastructure can be improved the next one is reduce inequalities already i have explained the gender inequalities so whatever in inequalities is there inequalities are there in the country can be reduced by using ai i will not explain much more about this because i have already explained in this in the previous point sustainable cities and communities again the, the again the, we are talking about iot devices sustainable cities means the smart cities which have smart devices which have smart buildings which are using iot devices so the the buildings or the cities which are which are using iot devices are basically preserving the resources by controlling the wastage of energy moreover the maintenance of the devices can be done through the data which iot devices are collecting the next one is responsible consumption and production so uh, basically when your mother goes to market most of the time <coughs> she can forget many times it happens that she may forget whatever uh, vegetables are there in their in her refrigerator so refrigerators nowadays can be uh, equipped with are equipped with the sensors are equipped with the cameras through which um, by using mobile we can see what all food is there in the in the fridge whatever vegetables are there in the fridge so that we can uh, we, we we she should not purchase that vegetable whichever is there already there in the refrigerator so obviously when we are not purchasing that so there is a no wastage of money wastage of food then the second example we can say that uh, we have uh, in industries we have uh, goods tracking system like uh, raw material tracking system through which the uh, what ai machines can do it can identify the parts which are already available in the stock and which are uh, if uh, for any part is running short in that case it can uh, give the it can give the feedback that this part is running short so that we should not order the part which is already there in the uh in the stock so we can, so basically the consumption the consumption because uh, whatever consumption is there based on that the production will be done if we don't need that particular part the production will not be done or we will not order that part obviously production will not be done for our need next goal is climate action you know very well that ai is capable of making prediction it can forecast it can make weather forecast which can help farmers to um, plan their their uh, crops plan their production of crops so it can it can guide the farmers that with that particular climate or that particular weather can is uh, suitable for growing of that particular crop in that particular land secondly there can be many devices like smart irrigation system or smart thermostat which can help to conserve the energy resources so this this can contribute to the greener planet it can give it can make our planet more greener the next goal the next goal is life below water it can ai can <coughs> can identify the particular species which are under the water okay so it can take keep the track and monitor the species which which will be which will become easier and efficient with digital tools like facial and species recognition software so by using ai they can uh, identify the the extinct um, extinct species of fishes or any other creature that is inside the water it can check the ph value of the water and it can, and we can make effort to save that particular species 
moreover there there are different uh, devices which can keep the track of fishermen if suppose the area is uh, in that area the fishing is prohibited they usually what fishermen do they usually uh, keep fishing vessels with to so the if pictures are captured using set from satellite or if uh, the satellite can capture the areas where the fishing vessels are there so we can keep the track of the places where fishing is prohibited the next goal is life on land the we can relate the same thing with the life of or life on land may it be the animals may it be uh, human beings may it be plants so we have to save the forest save the environment do more plantation so keeping the track of places wherever plant where there are less number of trees so wherever deforestation is done we can keep the track of places where deforestation is being done wherever the deforestation is prohibited so that we can <coughs> get the again we can get more greener planet the next one is peace justice and strong institution there are many technologies which can reduce the cyber crime so we can keep the track of the cyber crime that is happening nowadays you know uh, i'll give one example there are many uh, software which are developed which can the deleted whatever is deleted from your laptop or desktop or your hard disk it can be recovered it can, if you if a culprit tries to delete everything from his uh, his hard disk then also the data can be recovered then moreover cameras are uh, the shops and uh, shopping malls or banks are integrated with very efficient cameras which can keep the track of culprit so that we can we can get the justice we the culprit can be we can catch hold of culprit so that the peace is maintained in the society last but not the least is partnership for the goals so basically we can use the collaborated software use which use machine learning which can make decision making within or between institution more efficient so all basically the uh, iot devices or ai devices can keep the track of uh, the pro track, track of uh, process the progress of these goals so all the goals should come together to achieve the sustainable goals and there there is that the ai has developed the software the system through which the tracking of the progress of these goals can be done so it can uh, it so basically it can improve analytical abilities and guide decision making in smart and sustainable manner keeping the view of data security personal and emotional needs of citizen so i hope this video is useful for you so keep yourself updated if you like this video please like and subscribe hit the bell icon thank you and have a nice day ahead